Hi everybody, so we're looking at the iron tablets now and this is going to be the mats overview. Um, this hasn't come up since 2009 so it's definitely something that is well overdue to come up. Uh, so look, we're going to have a look at, um, at this question here. Well, again, it's only the mats um, overview and I'm going to be skipping a lot of it, okay, and just focusing on what mats we're using and when we're using those formulas um, as such. Okay, so starting off so for 2009. We're going to focus in on E and the first part there tells us to calculate the molarity of the Fe um, 2 plus solution. Now, only so many formulas we can use for this guys. So first formula is molarity equals mass per litre over the MOR. Okay, now can we use the mass per litre? Now loads of students make this mistake. They'll go over here, they'll see the five iron tablets and they'll say there's a mass of, uh, each have a mass of 0.325 grams so therefore a total of 1.6 grams. Okay, and they'll think that's the mass. Now, and therefore they can put that into liters and divide it by the MR. There's a problem with that though, okay? The iron tablets contain a few different things. One of them is iron, obviously, um, but there's also lots of binding agents and a few other things. So this mass here, okay, is of everything, not just the iron over here. So we can't use that formula um, just yet, okay? Um, so what other formulas can we use? Well, let's see if we can use our M1, um, V1 over N1. And all you have to do is very quick check. Put out your Fe over here, 2 plus. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, and over here, your Mn, 04 minus. And again, we're going to write out our key. So it's going to be your V1 equals, M1 equals, and your N1 equals. And over here, it's going to be V2 equals, M2 equals, and your M2 equals. So we're looking for the molarity of the Fe, so that has to be x, that's grand. So we need everything else here to figure out what x is. And if there's one of these things missing, then we can't do it. So let's just see if we have everything. We can see here from E, if we're just reading that part there, 18.75 cm cubed of 0 0.01 molar potassium permanganate was used. So let's just write that down. 18.75 of 0 0.01. Okay, now let's continue on was required to react with 25 centimeter cube portions of the iron solution. Okay, so our iron solution is 25 mils. And our ends, well that's just our ratio up here. So if we go back up here, we can see it's five is to one. So we represent, represent that down here, five is to one. So we actually have everything there, guys. And if we do that out correctly, okay, I'm gonna write out the molarity just to answer if it's trace off. You're going to guess, um, 0 0.0375 and molarity meaning moles per liter okay so we're not doing too bad now let's move on to the next one and next one being um what's the total mass of iron in us now students get bogged down with this one um all the time but it's actually not that bad okay first off ask yourself this what is the formula for mass there isn't that many formulas is there so We'll write it out here. Mass equals your number of moles times MOR. That's the key one that we use all the time. Okay, sometimes we represent it as mass per liter equals the molarity times the MOR. It's the same thing. Okay, except this isn't molarity because we're dealing in 250 centimeters cubed, not liter. So do we have everything to answer this? In other words, do we have the number of moles? Okay, and do we have the MOR of iron? Now, the MOR of iron is handy enough, that's just 56. And do we have the um, number of moles? Uh, we do, we do. Okay, we can see here at the top here that we have this 0 0.0375 moles per liter. Okay, so we'll write that down there for a second, 0 0.0375. Okay, and if we do that out, okay, you only get 2.1 grams, okay, per liter. That's really, really important now, guys. Because you put in a litre over here, you must continue on with the litre over here. Now, the question we were asked was the total mass of iron in 250 centimetres cubed. So, 250 goes into a litre four times. Okay, so all I have to do is 2.1 divided by the 4. Okay, and it'll be 0 0.525 grams per 250 centimetres cubed. And that's our answer there. Okay. So, just to be careful with that one there, guys. Um, that 
you're keeping the units as you're going along okay um and that's why i put in the um it's over here so this over here is mass per liter now and that technically shouldn't say number of moles it should say molarity now um okay so we now have the number of grams i'm going to write it down actually i'll stick with that color just to keep it a little bit different 0 0.525 grams per 250 centimeters cubed and again if you're not sure whether to divide here by four or multiply by four ask yourself this if there's 2.1 grams per liter in um um grams in a liter and well how many grams will there be in 250 centimeters cubed well that's obviously going to be a lot less okay because you're reducing the um the volume and if you reduce the volume you're going to reduce the mass okay so that's how i think about it so therefore if you had multiplied this you would have got a lot more than 2.1 so therefore you could have figured out that that's obviously not the way to go about it now the last part is the part that captures students the most and they're asked to find out the percentage by mass of iron in the tablets so let's start off here it didn't necessarily specify whether it's um per tablet or for tablets overall okay um so it doesn't really matter which way you go about this okay i'm just going to put it in terms of tablets overall okay so what is our formula so we will have to use our masses and if we're thinking about this if we have percentage of mass we're we're dealing with 0 0.525 grams per 250 centimeters cubed grams that's how much iron there is okay but how much iron was there in total in that 200 centi 250 centimeters cubed if you go back up here there was actually 1.625 grams in total but remember how i was saying that there's going to be like binding agents and, that, and other stuff in it okay so that's where that's coming from 1.625 grams and again that was dissolved in 250 centimeters cubed and we're looking for a percentage so we'll times that by 100 and i'm just going to do it on my calculator there so it's 0 0.525 divided by 1.625 times 100 and if you do that out correctly you want to get 32.3 percent and that's your answer that's how much iron there is in total okay um again you could have done a per tablet it wouldn't have actually mattered you would have got the same anyhow okay um it would because you would be using different masses but i think that would just this way i did here now is just the most straightforward okay so that was it and um, there wasn't um much to it all i did there was put the mass of the actual iron which is this one over here over the total mass of the iron tablets which there was five tablets so i just multiplied this by five so 1.6 grams 1.625 grams there times 100 because we're looking for percentage by mass and that was it so guys look i hope that helped and um, as i said iron hasn't come up in ages so it's definitely due to come up fairly soon um and best of luck with us